Uh, we use protocols all the time in our life. Uh, one of them is language. The way we understand each other is the fact that you know that uh, a verb comes after the noun or, or how verbs work or what they mean, right? Another protocol that we use is the driving protocol. You drive on the right. If you see this sign, it means stop and everyone understands that. And if there's a thick line from a street coming on the other side, you know that the car will stop so there's not gonna be a crash. You can keep going, right? That's a protocol. Another protocol is also football, soccer. Uh, everyone understands it. You don't touch the ball with your hands unless you're the keeper, right? So it's essentially a set of rules created, but, exactly. but in Bitcoin it's enforced differently than in the real world. Yeah. Using actual code, because football we all enforce it by watching the game and all knowing the rules and saying, hey, you, you the referee, wrong. yeah. And with a referee, and sometimes the referee's right, sometimes he's wrong. And <laughs> everyone's, everyone's watching. And everyone's watching. And it's transparent. There's more transparency than exactly, what you're doing. Right? Exactly, everyone's watching, everyone's there. And also there's no, like with the referee, right? Uh, there's no like, oh, but perhaps, right? Yeah. The ball touched him here. Is that the, the yeah. shoulder or is that the arm, right? There's no like blurry line. It's like, these are the rules. They're clear cut. You're either in or out. If you follow them, welcome to the game. Welcome to Bitcoin. And the rules, what are they? 21 million Bitcoin, don't steal. The sense <laughs> of like, you basically can't because we use cryptography to ensure that nobody can steal. Yeah. Nobody's able to, right? Not exactly. even a miner.